everyone, it's Miss Teresa. Um, we are getting ready for Mother's Day on Sunday, so I found a book called Just Me and My Mom, and it's a book about this little guy that does some special things with his mom. And on Mother's Day on Sunday, you could do some special things with your mom too, whatever your mom likes. You could read a book to your mom. You could draw a picture with your mom. Maybe you could go out in the backyard and do something with your mom. Whatever your mom likes, you could do something on Sunday to make her happy. Maybe you could clean up your toys or do some chores for your mom. Maybe that would make her happy. So we'll read this book about moms and then we're gonna make a card for you that you can see how I make it and you can make one at your house to give to your mom. So here we go. This is Just Me and My Mom by Mercer Mayer. He's the author. That means he wrote this book. All right, ready? Here we go. We went to the city, just me and my mom. Mom gave me some money to buy tickets for the train. Look, they have to get on a train and ride a train into their town. Do we have to ride a train when we go to, into town? No, we just drive our car when we go into town. I wanted to help mom get on the train, but the steps were too high, and so my mom helped me instead. But when the conductor came by, the tickets were gone, so my mom paid the conductor some money. Look at his mom. She's not very happy because she already paid money for the tickets, and he's saying, uh-oh, I lost them. And look right here. You can see... When she was helping him up, you can see the tickets flying away right there. That's where they got lost. Uh-oh. The city was very busy. I held my mom's hand so she wouldn't be scared. Look at their faces. Does the mommy look like she's scared? No. Does he look like he's scared? A little bit, yep, and then look, he's got a little frog friend with him, and the little frog looks a little scared too, because look at all the people. Must be a very busy, noisy city, so he's a little bit nervous, so he's going to hold his mommy's hand. We went to the Museum of Natural History, and they had rooms full of old dinosaur bones. I picked up a little dinosaur egg to show my mom, but someone ran up and grabbed it. I wasn't going to hurt it. Look at this guy. Why do you think he's so running up like that with that look on his face? You're not supposed to touch the bones and things at a museum, are you? Nope. What do you think this sign right here says? It says, do not touch. He was not following the rules, so this guy was coming to help out. I tried on some costumes just for mom, but the museum guard didn't like that. Mm -mm. He didn't want him to do that. Then we went next door to the aquarium. What is an aquarium? What do you think? It's a place where they have fish and sea creatures. That's right. There were lots of fish in a big tank of water. Look, there's this little frog friend went for a swim. The mommy's saying, uh-oh, what's he doing in there? They had some seals doing a show, and my mom got mad uh, because she couldn't find me. I ran up front to get a closer look at the seals. Uh-oh, he ran up on the stage and had the seals ball. Is that what he's supposed to do? No, he shouldn't have done that. We went to the art museum, but it only had a lot of weird pictures, and I was really getting tired. Uh-oh, he pushed up against this thing holding a statue, and it's falling down. After that, we went to a very nice restaurant for lunch, but we didn't stay for very long. Look, this guy's looking at his frog, and he's saying, nope, nope, we can't have frogs at our restaurant. No frogs allowed. We decided to have a hot dog from a stand. That was more fun anyway. Is getting a little hot dog at a stand more fun than going to a fancy restaurant? Mom wanted to go to a big store full of dresses and stuff like that. But I said, yuck. He didn't want to go to the dress store. 
Mom even made me try on some clothes and she bought me a new suit. Some guy measured me and he stuck pins all over my clothes. Look at that. He had to measure him to see what size he wore. We passed by the toys and I found the stuffed animal that I always wanted. But mom said it's time to go. I don't think it would be a good idea to buy a bear that big and have to try to take it home on a train. We took a taxi to the train station. Do you know what a taxi is? This is a taxi. It's a car that they have in big cities. So you don't drive your own car. You have one of these taxi drivers drive you around. I got to ride in the front seat and the taxi driver drove real fast and it was fun. I let my mom buy the tickets this time. She said she didn't have enough money to buy more tickets if they got lost. Good idea, Mom. It's a good idea. We had fun, just me and my mom. I even stayed awake all the way home. Almost. Uh-oh, he's almost falling asleep. So that's about a fun day that this little guy had with his mom. So maybe there's something you can think of to do with your mom at your home on Sunday to tell her Happy Mother's Day. Now I'm going to back up a little bit so you can see the desk in front of me. There we go. And we're going to make a card. So if you have a piece of paper and some markers or some pencils, you can get them out. And the first thing you're going to do is take your piece of paper and fold it in half and then squeeze the edge like this to make a card. See? A card. Now what do you think we would put on the front of a Mother's Day card? You think we would draw a picture of something a mother might like? Or maybe we better write mom so the mom knows who it's for? I think that's a good idea. I am going to draw a flower on my mom's Mother's Day card, okay? So I'm going to start off by drawing the stem of the flower. So I'm going to have a green line. I'll hold it up every once in a while so you can see. And then I'm going to draw a leaf on one side and a leaf on the other side. See that? That's the stem of my flower. Now, I'm going to put a big circle in the middle of my flower, and that is where I will write my mom's name. I'll write mom. Ready? So I'm going to draw a big circle right in the middle. There we go, big circle. And then I'm going to write mom. Do you remember how to spell mom? We did this earlier in the year where you write M O. M. And we started with an uppercase M and then a lowercase M and a low, I mean lowercase O and a lowercase M. So that's how I'm going to write it in here because it's for my mom. M O M. So I wrote mom. Now what's my flower missing? It's missing petals. That's right, I need flower petals. So let's get another color, and my petals are just going to be like little circles, like that, all around my flower. I'll draw lots and lots of little circles until I get all the way to the other side. Whoa. There we go. How's that? Mom, it's a pretty flower. And then you can color it in, you could draw the sky, you could draw the grass, you could draw some birds, whatever you think your mom would like to see. That's what you draw. Now on the inside, I'm going to write a message to my mom. And what I want to say to my mom is, I love you. So I'm going to show you two ways to write I love you. You can write it either way you want, or you can just draw pictures inside your card for your mom. Okay? So to write I love you... I'm going to write it first with words, okay? Let's see if I can do it holding it up so you can see. The first one I'm going to write is I, so with an I. Then you spell love, L-O-V-E. 
V E. That says love. And then the last word is U. Y O U. That's how you spell you. I love you. That's a message for your mom. Now the next way I'm going to write it, I'm going to write it with kind of pictures. So if I wasn't going to write the word I or the letter I, what can I put that would mean I? Do you know? I could draw a picture of an I and then my mom would know. So I'll draw the I and then I'll hold it up and show you, okay? Give it an eye and I'll give my eye some eyelashes. Look at that. I, I, that's the word or the letter I, and then there's an I. Now what could I draw that would mean love? Can you think of anything? How about a heart? That would mean love, right? I'm going to get my red marker out. Ready? Okay, I'm going to draw a red heart right here. And that means love. There we go. I love. And then the last thing I'm going to draw is just the letter U. And that will mean I love you. Ready? Just the U. There we go. So I wrote words, I love you. And I wrote pictures and symbols, I love you. So you can make your card for your mom however you want. Now, should I decorate the card a little bit? Maybe. I think my mom likes hearts, so I'm going to put a whole bunch of pink hearts on this side. Okay? I'll draw a few of them. How many hearts do you think my mom would like to see in her card? A lot of them. Let's see. How many did I draw? One, two, three, four, five, six. I put six hearts in my card for my mom. So that is a card that you could make at home, but make it your way, however you think your mom would like it. Oh, you know what else you could do? Let's do one more thing. We should always sign something, shouldn't we? So I will write Miss Teresa at the bottom of mine. Miss Teresa. There we go. And you would write your name down there. So your mom would get her card and it would say, Mom. So she'd know it was for her. And she'd open it and it says, I love you. From Miss Teresa. There you go. That's a beautiful card. So you can try to make one of those for your mom and see if she would like to have that for Mother's Day. And I will be back next week to do another video for you guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.